welcome back dudes and dudes we are uh we're doing something different today we are where are we at a winery we're at a winery it doesn't look like it from behind but watch i'll turn it around and boom we're at a winery it's a great view yeah it's a great view and uh we're gonna go to a bunch of different wineries we're gonna do some tasting we're gonna taste a lot of wines and yeah I, i'm just amazed about the view the view, the view is, is gorgeous mm -hmm. and we may go to some breweries <laughs> yeah it's really nice really nice modern it's good so we're gonna go try some wine and uh we're doing like a flight this one or what the they're different. Oh my god, this is good too. This, this one is isn't as sweet to me. Yeah. I the like uh, the, the aroma of the, the auto Yeah, this auto one has like a, a, a ro like a rose. Taste that rose. This is Marked Tree Vineyard. There. A beautiful venue. A beautiful lantern up there. And then they have these garage doors that come down here. And then they have beautiful art on the wall really gorgeous gorgeous pieces wildlife I'm picking the hendersonville and then there's like a private tasting down there and then there's like some outdoor seating area here stunning wow and the wine is amazing were actually phenomenal two three whites it was like three whites but a, the third one was a rosé and some of the grapes come from here and then we had one red which we liked all the whites we might actually buy some wine from here and you can see all of the apple trees there and then you have all of the grapes here there's actually some grapes like right there some like white grapes We're drinking just up the way there. I found the Cab Franc. They are in nets. I think they're trying to protect them. But this is the rows and rows of delicious grapes. And we bought two bottles of wine. We got one white and the rosé. I don't know if it's going to get much better than this. This is a fabulous start. Right, El? And Ellie's with us. She's uh, calming down a little bit. So on to the next winery. And some of these have been harvested already. Let's go try the last bottle that we're trying is a red. Yeah. Yeah. And they have a nice beautiful chandelier as well and great art on the wall. We're gonna, we finished the tasting. This place was awesome. V Vineyard is a awesome name. It's called Burnt Shirt, which is very eclectic. They have a, like a nice little patio here. Very nice. We'll go over here and find a nice seat. As we're settling in here, beautiful fountain and uh, you can see the vineyards right across the street there. Can you see? Beautiful. We just stopped at Granddad's Apple Farm for a break and, oh, they have a line. Let's see. They have apple butter. What is this? 
Applesauce loaf. What the heck? Applesauce loaf. What? What the heck? An apple butter. That's awesome. We're in line now for the bakery. We're going to get apple cider donuts and we're going to get apple pie. So it's fall and that's what we're doing. Thank you so much. We are at a, a cider, a cidery, and uh, they have samples and test tubes. So, and we have some live music here. Pretty cool. All right. Our apple pie. There's like an old uh, refrigerator here. I don't know if that's from the 1920s, but it looks like an ice box. They have some cool, they have like a weight little scale here. Wow. Weather vane, a barometer. Got a barometer back there. See? Come on this way. Beautiful tasting room. We have a guest book. You want to put our guest book? Wait, Ellie. front and then out front they have like a heat lamp and some chairs some fire pit it's so nice Ellie what do you think you love it okay let's go find mama take me to mama and then this all overlooks the apple orchard go back down come on Very good. I have a fire pit here as well. Next location, and it's beautiful. This is called Stone Ash Vineyards. And they have a wonderful hillside with beautiful, like, sloping hill. And all of the grapes. Can you see? It's right there. There's some over there as well. And they have a beautiful fountain out front. And then the other side of the vineyard is looking over the valley here in Hendersonville. And then there's some more grapes there. So this is the inside of Stone Ash vineyards and it is absolutely beautiful really nice like kind of camel or cow hide different types of hides and leathers beautiful chairs and then they have like really cool art on the wall and then there's like a beautiful seating area if you want to do a tasting inside cool sitting area here there's beautiful couches and then this is there where you want to do like a tasting up at a bar. You can try their different wines here. Pretty cool. Oh, and the chandeliers are beautiful as well. The inside is really cool. And then there's like outside, you see the 
sweet thing there. Beautiful, like, overlook here. Okay, so Daniel, tell us what you thought of this beautiful winery. This was very good. It's not at the uh, same level as the first one. What's the name? Mark Tree. Was it Mark, Mark Tree? Mark, Mark Tree. Yes. The inside is very nice. Uh, custom made everything. The furniture is. I like it better in the other place. It's more my style. But furniture. the wine was very like dry, more or less. It was more like standard, drier wines. Yeah. Yeah. And they were like in the other place we had like all of the wines we like here we had maybe two that we like yeah two so, we like more at the other place we didn't take anything with us so that says a lot so mark right? tree wins so far out beating everybody but look at this view the this is so stunning i can't imagine cutting the grapes off of the vines climbing the hill wow and then there's more over here really cool You want to come? Come on. Come on. And, uh, you know, depending on how the sun hits it, it develops the flavors and stuff. So, really uh, unique hillside here. On to the next winery. You have some apples? What's this? Apples? Huh. Good girl. Okay, our next stop is going to be sawyer springs vineyard and they are a small like a small uh batch they make it all here and we're gonna taste them so love the little covered patio here and very cool One was the Lemuel, and I taste a little bit of orange and lime. It, sm it smells like a chocolate to me, um, not as much as to Daniel and Edit. I get a little chocolate, but uh, they got a lot of chocolate. Heard a charcuterie board, so we're gonna enjoy this. Got some grapes and pretzels and cheddar cheese. Yum. This is the Sandy Hill. I don't know where it is here. Sandy Hill. Ah, Zinfandel Rosé. Slightly fruit dry notes. Let's try it. Mm. That's good. It's very refreshing. This one is the Scarlet Cabernet. It's supposed to be smooth for a Cabernet. Ah, oh, that is nice. Doesn't have a punch like you would expect with like a Cabernet. Wanna try it? Okay, this is uh, the 828 Sawyer Springs Reserve. And it has, it's a triple blend. It has Cabernet, Zinfandel, and Merlot with a dry finish and a full body. I like the smell of it. Mm. This one almost get like a copper. This is the first time that I have had strawberry wine. It's not on the menu. This is a special treat for all of us. It's made from strawberries. Right? This is made from strawberries. Yes, so it's like fermented fruit wine. It's just a red wine yeast, so that like really brought the color out. Mm. Oh, it smells like strawberries too. Mmm, I have to buy a bottle of that to bring home. What do you think, Game? Do you like it? This uh, winery was our last stop on the tour. So we were driven back, checked into our hotel, and then we went out for some German food and uh, beer, which I thought I had footage of, but I guess not. Anyway, that's going to end this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed our tour around upstate North Carolina wine country. They had some great wines. Really cool. Hit that thumbs up as well as subscribe. It really helps us out. 
and I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all in the next video. Bye dudes.